It's not your fault. You know, Annie got spooked, but you'll find her again. If I hadn't grabbed the phone from Hayward's hand... You wanted like, to hear Emma's voice. Yeah, well, I could hear her voice every single day as soon as I get her home and she's safe. It's... Look, thank you, um, for coming all the way up with me like that. I appreciate that. I'd do anything to help get Emma back. I just wish I could have made some kind of difference. You were there for me when I needed you. That's a lot. It is. I'm just gonna call the FBI and let them know that, that we're back. Okay? What? What? What is it? I'm fine. They don't tell you how bad heartburn can be when you're pregnant. Do you remember that time we went for Mexican food and you ate that habanero pepper? <sighs> Yeah, what did, what did Emma, what did Emma say? She said that I was gonna get heart hurt yes. if I kept eating it. Yes. Yeah. She laughed so hard at that face you were making. That silly giggle. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, 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 it's just fine. It's, it's that laugh that keeps me going right now. It's, it's interesting as a, as a dad. It's really those simple things that become so incredibly precious. Well, you're, you're gonna find out for yourself. Soon enough. I should go. Hey, Madison. Don't go, not yet. I just, I want to call the FBI and, and have them recommend a child psychologist in case Emma calls you again so that you're sort of prepared uh, as to what to say to her. I'm, I'm here whenever you need me. Hey, let me make you some breakfast or something. Something to eat before you... It was a long night. It's the least I can do. Uh, no, that's sweet. Thank you. I, I don't think my stomach's up for it yet. Right, because you are still in your first trimester, right? Right. Almost my second. Oh. What? Oh. Okay, you know what? That is more than heartburn. Can, uh, can, can you sit down, please, and just take it easy? Okay. Just rest, okay? Who are you calling? Calling Scott. No, don't, don't. I don't want to worry him about nothing. Madison, you're pregnant. And you're having cramps. That's that's not nothing. Well, they came and they went, but they're gone now. I'm fine. Don't call. Okay. Okay, but I'd like you just to hang out and, and, and take it easy for a little while, okay? I don't want you to go to work and, until I know that you're 100% okay. I appreciate that, but I'm fine. Come on, I'm feeling guilty enough as it is. I mean, I'm the one who dragged you up to Boston and made you hang out at the waterfront until the wee hours of the morning for a meeting that never happened. Look, but you have nothing to feel guilty about. I wanted to help. All I've been able to do so far is answer a couple of phone calls from Emma. Wish I could do more. Are you kidding me right now? You've done so much more than that. I mean, you're the one Emma's been reaching out to. You. You're her friend. You're someone special in her life. That's why she feels safe with you. That's also why I know you're going to be a great mom to that little girl that you carry. You know, there's nothing in the world like a little girl. Is that Emma? No, it's Greenlee. Sure, Greenlee wants to talk to you. Hello. Hi. Where are you? We just got in. I tried calling you before. I, I thought you were still in Boston on some new lead. No, you, you probably were trying to call in while I was trying to uh, call Scott to tell him Madison's having some uh, cramps. Is she okay? She says she's okay. I am. I'm sorry about Emma. Next time. Yeah. Yeah, look, I don't want to um, tie Madison's phone up too long just in case Emma tries to call in, so we'll talk to you later. Sure. Love you. So, you are sure that you're okay? It's just reassuring to keep a hand here. Ah! Mad oh. Madison, okay, ah. all right, take it easy. I'm gonna get you to the hospital. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> Let's go to the hospital. A nurse? Nurse, we're gonna need a doctor. Please, she, she's in pain. It could be the baby. Um, who's your OB? Uh, Dr. Cantor. Dr. Cantor, please, if she's available. She's not. Dr. Kim's on call. Oh, Brian, I'm scared. It's okay. 
It's all right. I'm gonna get you seen right away. Don't leave me, please. I'm not going anywhere. No cramping now, though. No, no, but they've gotten worse. Now, how many weeks along are you now? I think you said 11 weeks, right? Mm hmm Hey, could you do me a favor? Could you go call Scott and tell him where I am and that I'm OK? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be right back. Thanks. Doctor, would it make any difference how far along I am? Well, yes, potentially quite a big difference. Why? Because I lied. I'm further along than I said. Whatever your reasons, you should have told me this before. I'm sorry. So how far along are you now, really? 19 weeks. 19 weeks? 19 weeks ago, Scott wasn't even out of prison. I'm the father. 